When it comes to travel tripod, there is no secret the Peak Design has been dominating the market over the last few years, and that is for good reasons. Their tripod is incredibly small. It is solid, it is sleek, it fits in any camera bag, and I've been using this tripod now for a few years every single day, and I love it. But today we are going to talk about a different tripod that is just as, just as good, even better. That's right, it is better than Peak Design, and it's half the price. Now, about a few weeks ago, I was scrolling through YouTube, and this video popped up of this guy reviewing this tripod. And I only got about halfway through the video. I've never watched his videos before. I'm not subscribed. I don't know who he is. But halfway through the video, I was convinced that, that this tripod it will be the tripod for me that will fix all the problems I have with the Peak Design tripod. So halfway through the video, I went and ordered it. Now, this guy, he just so happened to have an affiliate link, and I got 20% off. Let me say I got $70 off, and I bought the tripod for $299, where the Peak Design tripod cost, let's see, I have some notes over here. It's $650. So the Peak Design is $650. I got this one for $300. They're both carbon fiber, same height, same weight. This is the Ulanzi Coleman Zero Y tripod. And we are going to open it together and I'm going to show you how this tripod, it's better than the Peak Design tripod. And like I said, it's half the price. So let's go into it. When you get it, it comes into this box. I'm going to put the box down over here somewhere. Inside the box, you'll find the manual and you will also find an iPhone holder. And then the tripod itself comes in this bag. Does this look familiar? It looks exactly like the Peak Design bag that comes with. It even has the strap if you just want to carry the bag on your shoulder while you're walking around taking photos. I've never done that, but it comes in the same bag that Peak Design comes. And let's get the tripod out, take a look at it. So there is the tripod. This is the Peak Design tripod. This is the Ulanzi tripod. It also comes with some um, feet, the pointy feet for, you know, if you're on ice or somewhere where you have to dig in. It comes with the rubber feet on it, but you have these metal spiky feet. I'm gonna put this aside and then we'll take a closer look at the tripod himself. Now at first glance, they look pretty much identical. The Ulanzi one, it's about one inch taller, but uh, the rest of it, the feel, they're both carbon fiber tripods and the, the feel, the look of it is pretty much identical. They have even the same kind of print on the legs and they both have this clasp kind of leg extension thing. Now, I'm going to give you some specs in a little bit, but they're pretty much the same weight, the same height, and all of that stuff. Now, let's look at uh, the problems I had with the Peak Design one. I'm going to put this one aside for a second. And I'm going to show you my issues with it. Peak Design tripod, when is the column is completely down like this, you cannot turn the head and or adjust it if your legs are not completely even there's no way to adjust this. In order to do so, you have to raise the column. Once you raise the column, then you can move the head and adjust it. Now, this is not a big deal, right? You can raise the column. The one problem I had with it though, you cannot take panoramas. When the head is loose so you can move it, so you can spin it around to take a panorama, it's very hard to keep the horizon straight and you will end up with the crooked horizon and when you stitch together the panorama you lose a lot of the image because you have to crop it a lot tighter so this head is really not good for panoramas and that's i find that really a problem now here's another problem i have with this tripod it comes with this peak design plate it is very small very convenient i love this plate but the problem comes in that most of my cameras all of my cameras I think I have like about seven or eight cameras now. And they all have L brackets on them. Well, the problem is 
when I use an L bracket, this is an Arca Swiss mount L bracket, for the newer cameras like the A7R4, A1, and so on, this one do mount onto the head of this big design tripod, and I have no problem with it. The problem I'm having is when I try to mount it as a portrait orientation, and that is because this part over here that closes and opens the mount, you see the, I don't know if you can tell, but this uh, plate has an opening over here so you can get to your cables. So when you try to put it in, it has nothing to grab into it. So you cannot attach the L bracket in a portrait orientation on this head. Another problem I have is if you have an older camera, like this one is my, one of my infrared cameras, it's an A7 II. And this ones have a different kind of L bracket. And this L bracket does not fit into this tripod head. That's because the tripod head has these two um, screws that are sticking out for safety, but there's no way to go into my L bracket and I cannot mount this camera onto this tripod head. Another problem I'm having with the tripod head of the Peak Design it says it's Arca Swiss compatible. And I have an Arca Swiss plate here, and this is what's happening. When I put the Arca Swiss plate in, it does fit, it's compatible, just like they said. And then I am going to lock it, and I'm tightening it as much as I can, it's completely locked. But look what happens, if I push it, I can still move the plate. So it's not completely secure. Now, I'm not afraid my camera is gonna fall off the tripod, it's secure enough. But the fact that I can move this plate with my bare hands does not make me feel like my camera and my lens is safe on it. So I do not like to use um, this tripod head. What have I been using? Well, I removed this head from my tripod. And what I use instead, well, first of all, to remove the head of the Peak Design tripod, you have to buy this additional universal head and you replace it with you replace this one with this one. And then I've been using this Acrotec leveling base with the Acrotec um, tripod head. And this for me, it's a marriage made in he heaven. It works perfectly. It solves all my problems and I can attach all my, um, you know, like the Arca Swiss plates and my L brackets and I can do panoramas and that just, you know, solves all of my problems. But let's talk more about the Ulanzi because that's why we're here. We wanna see the Ulanzi tripod. Now that we know what kind of problems I'm having with this tripod, let's see how the Ulanzi does not have that problems. Now, both of these tripods, as we saw, they look pretty much identical. Now let's see how they are the same and how are they different. They both have a hook on the bottom so you can hang some weight for stability if you're doing a long exposure. They both have the same kind of latches for extended tripod legs. They both have like a ball head. You can extend this um, center column. Now that here's a difference. The Peak Design, in order to extend the center column, it has this dial that you can turn and you know lock it, extend it where the Ulanzi has a level. So I pull this level up and now I can raise my column and then close it. So that is one difference. Another difference is the way the plate goes into the ball head. This one has like a quick release and you have to turn this to lock it. Where this one is more a traditional Arca Swiss where you turn this uh, you know, dial and you put in your plate. The plates, by the way, they are pretty much identical. Let me take this one off so you can see. They are pretty much the same thing. In fact, they are compatible. I did put the Peak Design plate onto the Ulanzi and it fits just perfect. So they are compatible. They are pretty much the same plate as far as I am concerned. Now, the good thing about Ulanzi that Peak Design does not have is that it has one more level over here and that is for panoramas. So now I can adjust, I have this level over here where I can adjust the position of my ball head. It also has, if I take my plate down, 
it has a little uh, bubble head so i can make sure that my plate is leveled i can close this so it's secure and now by this level over here i can take panoramas and it doesn't move the horizon will still stay straight so that's what i like about the alizi i can take panoramas where this one it's really not good for panoramas your horizon is not going to be straight as you are moving it so if i open this you see like the ball head moves and you cannot take panoramas you have to keep it loose in order to move it and as you will move it to take your stitcher panoramas when you go and post to stitch them together your horizon will not be straight and you'll end up cropping a lot of your image so they are the same but different and so far Yulanzi is winning because you can do panoramas pick design you cannot do panoramas on it I also like the way this dial works to put in your plate. Now, one thing that uh, Yolanzi has going for it is the fact that I can use my, you know, Arcosuis plates or my L brackets. And because it has this knob to close it, it stays very secure and it does not slide around my camera. It's safe and secure. And I don't have to worry about that looseness that is happening with the peak design. Now, both of these tripods have a hook on the bottom to hang some weight. And Peak Design also has a tool holder. So here on the leg, you have this holder that will hold your tool. This tool is the tool you need for to put on the Peak Design plate on your camera, or if you just want to tighten up the legs and so on, or to remove the head, this is the tool you need. And it's always with you and this holder. Now I'm going to tell you, they say it's very secure in there and you're not going to lose it. I did lose the tool once, luckily it was just in my yard and I was able to find it. Yulanzi, just like the Peak Design, also have a tool, but theirs is right here onto the hook. Once you unscrew it, this is the tool you need to use. And you can use this for the plate and also to tighten up the legs or to remove the head. Now their plate, what I like about the Ulanzi plate, you need this tool in order to put it on your camera, but you can also use a coin. With the pig design, you cannot use a coin. You absolutely need a tool for it. So it does not have the line. You cannot use a coin. So we saw how the plates are different. They both have tools. And let me show you one other thing. If you have a lot of cameras and a lot of, you need a lot of tools, like this one needs one tool, this one needs one tool. When you have your plates and your L brackets, you need another tool. This is one of the best things I've purchased from Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below. This is a small rig multi-tool. And this one has all the tools you need for any kind of camera gear stuff. Even this flat one that you can use it instead of a coin. How many times were you out in the field and did not have a coin? Well, this one pretty much leaves into my backpack. And every time I need a tool, I have this one. And I don't need to look for all these little tiny things that could be loosened to my backpack. So we saw they have a tool. Let's see. They both, you can remove the long column and you're left with a short column. I'm not going to show you that right now. But you can do that with it. And they both have a cell phone holder. Now the Peak Design cell phone holder lives inside this center column. And it's this tiny thing. Now I'm going to be honest, I've never mounted my cell phone onto the Peak Design thing. This thing looks flimsy to me. I don't even know how you would attach it, but it's there. They say you can mount your cell phone. I believe them. You can do some Googling, see how you attach it. I just never really wanted to. The Yulanzi comes with a dedicated cell phone holder. And I'll have to tell you, I didn't know anything about Yulanzi until about a year ago when I discovered their cell phone holders. And that's where I have a lot of these things purchased in the past. But this one comes with the tripod. So let's see. You will attach the, the plate to the cell phone holder. And of course you need the tool, just like I told you. I'm just gonna loosely attach it. And then here is your cell phone holder. And then you will just mount it onto your tripod. And this is a really, really good quality cell phone holder. 
then you can just you know place your cell phone in there it's secure it has these dials on the back there's one dial here and what this one does it locks it and unlocks it so you can stretch it and close it so now it's safe and then also has this rotating dial that when you open it then you can move this and you want to put your phone into a portrait orientation you can or landscape and those are the two dials he has on this he also has a holder here for a microphone or something so for example when i am in the field if i want to take a video with my microphone i can just clip my uh road you know wireless and attach it to my phone and there you go i have a microphone and my camera and i can just you know film just like that i'm going to take this off for now i'm gonna take my phone back now both of these tripods you can put the camera upside down for those really low shots for macro or you know like footage of you know walking feet in the grass and what you do you just remove this center column and then you put it upside down just like that and then you mount your camera upside down and then post you just have to flip your image or footage let's see just like that and there you go they are both upside down now both of these tripods you can remove the long column and just leave the short part of the column uh, and there for if you want to get really really low to the ground and you can do that i actually i will do that on my ulanzi i will remove this long column and i'll just leave the column onto my pick design now they're both so small and compact i want to show you how they fit in my smallest bag this is my mind shift bag this is the bag i would take if i climb up a mountain and when i close this i will use the ulanzi just because this is the tallest out of the two if it's really really easy into my tiny bag and then i will use this elastic strap to secure it here and you see it is very very tiny like i said this is a very very small small bag and it works really really well now the peak design when the column is all the way down even when you open this you cannot move the head at all where the ulanzi you can so the column is all the way down and if i open this part here you see i can still move it and this is great because sometimes you have the legs that are just a little bit not you know leveled and then you can use this to level your camera and i like that a lot with peak design in order to level the head you will have to raise up the column a little bit and then you can do so now both of these like i said they are incredibly small when i close them i will show you the diameter they are both pretty much the same like i said ulanzi is about less than an inch taller but the width and everything i mean they're pretty much identical and i've been using the ulanzi now for the last week i took some long exposures i had no problem with camera shake i took it long exposures up to two minutes and it was perfectly sharp so i had no problem i never had a problem with the peak design on that uh, scenario either i took lots of long exposures with the peak design now if you i had you know if you try to take a five minute exposure Peak design and probably Yolanzi is not going to be your uh, best tripod for that. Use a more sturdy one, a heavier tripod. But for up to two minutes, both of these guys are doing fantastic. Now I'm going to give you a couple of specs about the two tripods. Like I said before, Peak Design cost $649, where the Yolanzi cost $369. But I will show you how you can get it for $299, so you will save $70 for the weight uh the peak design weighs 2.81 pounds where the ulanzi weighs 2.2 pounds so ulanzi is just a little bit lighter capacity weight capacity the peak design they say it's good up to 20 pounds where the ulanzi they say it's good up to 40 pounds so double the weight capacity now we'll get to that in a second now for the collapsed uh, height, which is right now, the peak design is 15.4 inches, where the Ulanzi is 16.6, so just like about an inch taller. For the deployed height, 
uh, with the column down. So when they are like all the legs are extended, but the column is down. The peak design, it is 51.2 inches. And with the column up, it's 60 inches. Where the Ulanzi is 62 inches and with the column up 61 inches. So they're basically the same size. This one is one inch longer. It's one inch longer when it's collapsed like this. It's one inch taller when the legs are extended. Now the big design doesn't say anything about weight capacity for their ball head. Ulanzi says that for the ball head, max capacity it is 6.6 pounds and what does that mean you can put more than six pounds on it just like it is right now with the legs extended let's say but what they mean by that is if your tripod has the column extended and you're trying to take on portrait orientation image so you are hold on what's happening there you go so you are in the portrait orientation like this well, then you cannot put anything more than 6.6 .6 pounds on it because it's probably going to start creeping on you and it's not going to stay secure. Now, the good news is most camera and lenses are not going to be over 6.6 .6 pounds. Even my A7R4 with the 200, like 70 to 200 millimeter lens, it's under that weight. If you have a bigger lens that is a lot heavier, uh, then you really don't need to put that in a portrait orientation and i will show you that right now now here is my sony a1 with a 200 to 600 millimeter and what is happening if i attach this to my tripod there you go now if you have a heavy camera like this If you have a camera like this that is really heavy, you don't want to put it in a portrait orientation. What you can do, and I will show you right here, is most heavy cameras come with a tripod foot. So then what you want to do is release this knob over here and just turn your camera. And now we are in portrait orientation and we are maintaining the, the center of gravity, the weight on the you know, tripod foot. And this would this tripod can take now a lot more than 6.6 .6 pounds because we are using this uh, tripod foot to get the portrait orientation. We're now moving the head himself. So now that we looked at both tripods, the good and the bad, it does seem the Ulanzi, it's really the perfect tripod, right? Well, it's definitely better than Peak Design, at least for me, but I still have one problem with it. And that is my L brackets because the way my L brackets are built, I still cannot use them on portrait orientation because there's nothing to grab over here. So what does that mean for me? That means I will be using the Ulanzi just like my second tripod. I will take it with me for when I'm not planning on doing portrait orientation. And then this also means that as soon as I'm off the camera with you guys, this Acrotech leveler and tripod head goes right back onto the Peak Design tripod because that's where they really live. I uh, only put this Peak Design head, the original one back on, just so I can compare these two for you guys. But usually Peak Design head is not living here. Now, just for a heck of it, I'm going to show you what my Peak Design tripod looks like with my Acrotech leveler and tripod head. So as you can see, this is the leveler base and it has a knob. And now I can level it. So if my tripod legs are not completely even, I can just quickly make sure that my tripod is perfectly balanced. It has a bubble leveler right in the middle and one over here. So that makes it really, really easy. And I can even see those bubbles even when my camera is on the tripod. Once I make sure my tripod is level, then I can use my camera portrait or landscape orientation because this works really good. It has a big, nice, um, plate here to attach my camera and then I can take panoramas as a knob here that I can just rotate the camera now and it's perfectly leveled and I can take panoramas with my horizon completely straight and then this is the big knob here that you can do up and down and this is my favorite tripod head at this time I had many many I still have many many tripod heads but this one is just simple it works really well 
and it just makes it so easy for my camera to be in landscape or portrait orientation and like i said those panoramas now they are just really really easy to do now i hope this was useful for you and if you are on the lookout for a new tripod a new travel tripod or if you were thinking about getting the peak design and you know didn't know if there's any other competition out there i hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new today thank you so much for watching my name is skylar ewing i will see you in my next video